show you something, but what else you guys see in the, in the, the story that we just read? The Jibori guy named Matt and Richard, the know it all guy. What else? Yes, Matt. Matt was able to achieve a lot more from his organization than Richard was because, you know, uh, just going from the share values and growing the company because he was able to get out of the people what they maybe didn't think they could get out of themselves. They, they make people like, they, imagine this was, this was, this was a great, they, they, what Nana said, he get out of the people more than other people could. How powerful is what Nana said? I always, you know, I go to sleep like this, and I, this is a paranoid question that I ask myself. If that person will be under somebody else, would that person get the same results or better, lower results or better results? Think about it. Think about it. If I were to put Salman direct to somebody else, or Brie direct to somebody else, will Brie become the number one person recruiter in the entire company? Do you guys know that? Brie is the top person recruiter, not in WTP, in PHP. Let me check it today. I think that somebody touched you. Yeah, I hear it in the video. Direct to somebody else. Is Marcelo doing the best that he can do? Is Natalia Karina doing the best? I always, by the way, it's kind of a, you don't have a correct answer. There's no way you can have the answer, right? But it makes me, it makes you think what? What if? What if? Maybe I can do better with this person. Maybe I need to improve. Maybe I need to improve. Sometimes we, we feel with Ceci, um, we have, we recruit this lady one day, and um, uh, we're gonna call it A. Because her name starts with an A, okay? <laughs> Nobody of you guys were not here. Nobody, okay? Maybe Vicky. Okay. <laughs> we're girl, this lady, man. And, and how great was she? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She was? <laughs> she was the number one before I came. Oh, so you know what I'm <laughs> talking about. <laughs> guys, she was, she was great. And I think that she left because of personal things, but I think that we could have able, we could have handled it, that situation different. I think that she could have stayed and we can have gotten that better. But I was not ready for that process at that time. You know what I mean? I didn't know, I make mistakes as leaders, and you need to be okay to make mistakes as well. You need to know that failure is okay. You need to know that failure is great. And by the way, in this office, you need to know that failure is okay. How about the way, you guys feel like that? Yes. How many of you guys make mistakes on application, something you try to recruit somebody, you don't recruit them, and uh, but you feel, man, but at least I'm accepted in the office, you know what I mean? Yeah. But guess what? Um, sometimes uh, we forget about that. Somebody asked me the other day, and I'm gonna give you, because who's next? I think uh, Patrick Lee is next, hi, man, then I go some long. Um, Sometimes we forget about how bad we were when we got started. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes we forget about that. You remember the first time that you, you know, the first time you did your first meeting, the first appointment? My gosh, why did that person ask me? Why is ROP? I don't know what ROP is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And now for you, it's like, uh, it's, it's not, sometimes we forget how horrible we were. Yeah. And we forget about the new recruits. It's like you uh, saying to somebody, Man, this baby, you know, he doesn't even know how to walk. Of course a baby, he doesn't know how to walk. What are you talking about? Makes sense. Okay, so go ahead, Patrick. Well, I feel like multiple are very already very secure in their own skin and diminishers are more insecure about about totally. their position in the in the workplace. Yeah, because insecurity comes from a, you don't want somebody to be better than you. You know, a secure person wants people to be better than him. Make sense? Let's go Jaime, Chris Ablon, then Fardin. So on the, on the Jibari story, you know how sometimes you challenge as a team. And sometimes, you know, Ceci and you, you come up with some crazy numbers, but you guys believe it like, like there's no tomorrow, like this will happen no matter what, it will happen. And this happened. And sometimes I wonder if, and I wonder like with him, if you already knew that he was going to hit over three dollars a share, he already knew. He already saw the process, but he knew he maybe he needed to break it down. 
you know, and say, you know what, I need to do this because otherwise, if they think I'm crazy, that we're gonna head over a dollar, what are they gonna think if I go over three? They're not, they're not gonna be able to process that. And when you challenge us, and me on a, like on a personal level, when I see those challenges, like, are you gonna hit director? There's only 10 days left, are you gonna do this? Are you gonna do that? That is sounds very crazy like that. But I can, I can see why, like it's doable. It's just, you know, you holding yourself. Don't think that it's crazy, the, the way you process it. Don't that translate it to you now? Do, are you saying your guys, are you challenging your guys to do better, to become better than they are? For everybody. This guy challenge it. This guy, know it all. That's your job, by the way. My job as a leader, that's my job as a leader. Isn't it? To challenge you to do better. Isn't that why you hire me? But when you hire me, do you guys know that? You're here because you have hired me to give you a message at 8.30 in the morning. That's the way I see it. I work for you. You know, you guys know that. You guys are my bosses. I'm a boss. You guys are my bosses. That's why I come early. Just you guys, you guys are my bosses. Is it making sense? I look at it. Some people look at it different. People say, uh, oh, I can show up at any time because I'm the boss. It's my own business. I don't see it like that. Jaime, you're my boss. Marcelo, he's my boss. Zach, you're not in the business, right? He's my boss. You're my boss, you know that? <laughs> Different approach. Yeah, but, that, but I have to challenge. I will challenge. And, but for me, challenge, let me give you another translation because some of you guys, how many of you guys have a little bit issue of challenging people? Like, honestly, like something, man. Let me put it to you how I see challenging. You ready? Put challenging equal what? For me, challenging, you know what that's equal to me? Challenging somebody? Guess what that equals to me? Proof of strengths. Let me show you what I believe, what, what it means to me. I believe in you. I believe in you. Challenge? Here's what I'm challenging you. Translate, from now on, every time I challenge you, guess what I'm telling you? I believe in you. If I challenge you to get a promotion, if I challenge you to come early, if I challenge you to be better, if I challenge you to, to do more appointment, guess what I'm translating to you? I believe in you. That's what it means, if you didn't know. So, now you know. Make sense? Challenging means, I believe in you. Your guys, if you don't challenge your guys, guess what you mean? Guess what they mean? That means to them. You don't believe in them. Challenging them means, I believe. If Patrick start challenging me, that would be one of the biggest, uh, I don't want that ever to happen to me. I want him to challenge me. When are you gonna put a thousand people in that room? Man, I mean. Guess what? Do you believe that I can have a thousand people? Really? Rodolfo, mm -hmm. when are you gonna make millions? When are you gonna make ten million dollars a year? Oh my gosh. Guess what happened? He believes what? That you can yeah, make ten million dollars a year. When are you gonna get your ring? When are you gonna hit director? When are you gonna become an owner? When are you gonna hit MD? Patrick Lee, when are you waiting? When are you gonna hit MD? When are you gonna hit director, Nana? When I'm gonna hit director, Adam? Bree! No, Bree, I'm not gonna say when I'm gonna hit director anymore. When I'm gonna hit MD, Bree? Kathy, you need to hit train the trainers. You have to. It's time for you to do it. That's what I'm also saying. Before you believe. Kathy, I believe in you. I believe you can do it. No way. Really? You really believe? Multiply versus? Diminish. Diminish. Sablon. It was nano sablon. Na no, sablon and then farting. So the way I see multipliers, um, I read this metaphor, it's kind of like uh, flight instructors and uh, pilots, right? So it said like if you start at one point and you want to get to the other point, and there's a cross one, you're actually going to land down. So what they do is they aim higher so they can get to the one to be. So what it basically saying is 
you want to treat people for what they could be so that they can get to your next destination. That's kind of how I, how you, how I see it. You know, like treat them higher, believe in them, portably challenge them, and you know, like treat them for what they could be so they can get to you want them to be. What's the for you? You know, how many employees do you bring have? Do you think that everybody was talented and bright? No. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, you know they, I, I was watching this dude. Though. We like it with Marcelo. Okay, this is a Mexican, uh, a comedian. His name is Franco. Uh, who knows Franco? Franco Escamilla. Yeah, you have to know him, man. <laughs> yeah, Uriel, you have to know Franco Escamilla, man. I'm a big fan of this dude. It's a Mexican dude. Most, but you need to be like. Uh, Really Hispanic for you to get the, the jokes from this dude, okay? And he said, uh, you go to a room, he says, you guys know, this is a bad word, okay? He's making a joke, okay? He says, you go to a room, you know that 60% of people are dumb. You know that, right? 50 to 60% of people are dumb. <laughs> and everybody, and everybody in the crowd, yeah! You know? <laughs> You know what's weird? You know what's weird? Everybody thinks like this. Oh yeah, everybody and like 50, 60 percent of people are dumb. But it's never themselves. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's never themselves. Mm -hmm. huh? Everybody says they're not like other people. Mm -hmm. What am I talking about? That? What am I talking about? <coughs> oh, because oh yeah, I was, yeah. So question to you: Do you believe in Franco Escamilla <laughs> or do you believe in the CEO of Jimboree? <laughs> he believes that everybody in their organization is bright and tra talented. They might not be everybody bright and talented, but because he set the high bar and expectation, guess what people need to do? Reach that expectation. For thee. Uh, I was just going to add that uh, when I first started the business, I was actually a diminisher, and then realized that me trying to do everything on my own and try to move up was not gonna work and then I started to realize uh, that I was falling behind and I worked as a team and started to realize that if I move up and we help everyone else in our team move up then we all move up together and that's how we grow better so I started to recognize that multiplying actually works better hey, thank you for your honesty by the way have we all been the ministers Yes. yes. I've been a diminisher, like a, I've been a diminisher as well. In that certain things that we become diminishers. Mm -hmm. You know, in every single scenario, don't think, oh my gosh, I read the book, I'm a multiplier now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we all been diminishers at certain points. Then Nati, then Karina. You know what I'm thinking now that I, when I used to work in the real estate management world, how crazy it is to read this book and implement this to your company and grow your company at levels that no one can imagine, but they choose not to read books. Of course. It's so insane. Karina. So what if people complain and uh, that you're maybe challenging them too much and they start saying maybe that you have too much high standards and expectations, like how would you handle that? You always want to be challenged with that. There is a chapter that Patrick talks. Have you heard that when Patrick says, uh, what happened to you, you raise your standards? Mm -hmm. you remember that? I don't remember exactly how it is, but he says, what did he say? It's a video. He, he he said, video. People get uncomfortable. People, yeah. Every time you want to raise the, the standard, they mean a lot of people in Jimboree get uncomfortable. When he says, we're going to raise it one dollar the share. Okay, you guys did it. That was lucky. Now we're going to raise it to two dollars per share. A lot of people criticize him. Every time you want to raise the standards, you're going to have a... So people are going to fight you back. Now Patrick talks about the one who resents you, mm -hmm. right? There are people going to resent you because they're raising <coughs> standards. The second is uh, other one. And the third one is uh, mm -hmm. people are going to end up raising the standards. Mm -hmm. He says, he says in the video, like, your circle, once you raise your standard, your circle kind of, people start fall off, and your circle just gets a little smaller. They can't. Yes. You know why some of you guys, how many, how many of you guys have resistance from your peers or family or friends once you started the business? How much is the resistance, by the way? Oh my gosh! Question for 
for you. Okay. Question for you. Why do you think it is? Because you're staying. They, they think we, we diminish. Huh? They, they diminish your product. But yeah, but why do you think that they, there is this uh, uh, part of, uh, if you want to call it jealousy, or why you call it envy, why you call it, yes, Jose first and then Levi. I believe it's because they don't understand what's going on. And sometimes you have to explain to them what's going on in order for them to move forward with you. Okay. I don't, if it's not, if you don't see it jealousy or envy, but I mean, because I'm my family, I don't think it's jealousy or envy. I don't know. I don't know if they feel like, oh, well, you're, this is taking up too much of your time. Okay, good. And Levi? Not only that it's taking up too much time, like Maciel said, but also because they don't see it as the standard that they were brought up to. Mm -hmm. Like someone was brought up in the standard as in get a good hourly rate paying job or a salary. You know, you say, hey, I'm working at a new spot, you know, selling insurance, but it's commission based or they freak out. They're like, why commission based? Why don't you get a steady rate and flow of income of money? But when you try to, you know, change the standard, they meet you with that diminishing quality. Vicky, Mirali, Jaime, Chris, and Anna. I think with family, it's kind of hard for them to catch up and understand because they're going to stay and the diminish your mentality because they're not growing in that area. But, you know, that's where you're going to prove them with that numbers. Not Interesting. That's so true. <coughs> Mirali. I think uh, family wise, you don't understand the value and, and uh, the system. Okay. Jaime? I think it's uh, when I when I found out uh, with with friends and the criticizing and all that stuff. Yes, it is a not understanding, but I guess I I understood from the very beginning that if you make it happen for you, it will show them that they could have done the same thing. It's like when you get lost, you get lost by yourself and you get scared. But you get lost with someone else. I'm not screwed by myself. I'm screwed with someone else. And because you're screwed like that, you just feel so much better, right? <laughs> That's basically what it is. Have you ever felt like a, let me tell you, okay. Uh, when I was in El Salvador, I used to smoke, okay? So we're like family, okay, you guys don't criticize me, okay? <laughs> okay? And, uh, and I used to, hey, guys, I told my friends, guys, I'm stopping. I'm not smoking anymore. The moment I used to say that, guess what everybody is saying? Hey, you want one? <laughs> you want one? Yeah. I mean, uh, no! But look at this, how nice is this? No! I don't want that! Ain't that crazy? Why is, aren't you my friend, bro? Like, what's up with that? Yeah. Yes. It's so crazy. I was at my mom's Friday. Uh -huh. And everybody drinks in the family, but I don't drink anymore. And they kept trying to give me a shot. Of and after course. a while, I snapped, and I'm like, guys, I was a drug for 16 years, and you're giving me a shot knowing that I don't What are they offering you now? Yeah. Yeah. You ever feel like you get into a diet? You get into a diet. And then, you're not going to eat the cake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have a cake, cake, cake. cake. Bring a cake. Bring, bring the cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at, just give it a little bit of try. Right. When, when you were, didn't say that you were on a diet, nobody wanted to give you a freaking cake. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. Yes, Marcelo. I read, this, I read this in a book and it said that um, majority of the circle of friends, they don't want you to outgrow them because they want you to be just like them. Just like them. So then the moment that you grow, they will never be part of your company either. They will never be because the moment that you make it, you know, the moment that you make it, they're going to remember what they said about you. So if they decide to join you, then they're going to be like, shit, I'm proving myself wrong. And as human beings, we don't ever want to be wrong. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Now, multipliers. Are you guys multipliers? Yes. 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 Okay, now let me give you these numbers. Okay? Now let me go to Jimboree. From Jimboree to WTP. Okay? <laughs> Jimboree to WTP. Yeah. You guys know where we're going with this. We're going to do it! We're gonna win! We're gonna qualify for Cancun! We're gonna do that! We're gonna hit the rector! Attitude change. When attitude change, physiological you change. You recruit more people. You attract more people. You become an attractive personality, attractive person. You might not be as attractive. <laughs> no, but you become attractive, you know? How many of you guys wanted to become attractive? Attractive, like you attract people. 
attractive personality, become an attractive personality. Yesterday I go to church and I go prospect this dude. It's a better beer than mine, okay? <laughs> and then nice beer. And bro, it's a nice beer, bro. And the guy said, yeah, man, I love it, man. He started talking to me, his girl, and uh, he's just smiling. Oh my God, but you're doing okay. Yeah, I'm trying. This dude, like, I got this beer like a, and uh, the nice beer, you know what I mean? The, 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 the beer that, the, the, the beer, the type of people who do YouTube videos, you know what I mean? About the beer. Sick, sick beer. And I said, man, the, and I'm talking to this, this dude needs to do something to do this beer because it's perfect, perfect beer. You know, my beer is like not perfect. This dude is perfect. And I said, that's a sick beer, bro. He started talking. He has an attractive personality. He become an attractive person. He attracted me to go and talk to him. He has an attractive personality. He was very sharp, professional. He was helping at church. He was doing his stuff doing Easter. He said, I want to talk to this dude. And I went and talked to, you, to him. I went and talked to him. He was attractive. It was a guy, you know what I mean? It's okay. <laughs> are you attractive? Ask yourself, every time you come to an office, are you an attractive person when you come to an office? Are you talking, are you saying hi, are you saying hey, how you guys doing? Are you the most attractive person? Let me tell you, Fardin is very attractive. Fardin is extremely attractive. You can say about this stuff, man, uh, he look good or whatever. I'm not talking about physically. Physically, kind of, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm telling you. For Dean, person, he might be a little bit crazy, okay? But let me tell you, for Dean is attractive. Yes? Would you agree? For Dean, hey, how you guys? Yesterday. I'm, I'm here, he said. I'm here, this is a freaking dude, bro. Like, what's up? <laughs> he has become attractive. It makes sense. Become an attractive person, smile more, come and smile, come and talk to people. We change my attitude, okay? Change your attitude. Change your attitude, positive. positive. Is this about a new age or stuff like that? No, being positive attract people. I have been saying, smile more, smile more, smile more. Smile more, every time you go to places, smile. You'll be surprised. It become, you, it, it, it does magic, I don't know why. I don't know, magical. You want to recruit more? Get a direct today. Go and smile more. I promise you, if you smile more, you get a direct. Come on, Rodolfo. You will close more business. You will recruit more people. You will make more money. You will drive better cars. You will live in better houses. When you wake up in the morning and smile more. I don't know, maybe you need to listen to Frank Camilla. I don't know. Or maybe you need to listen to Kevin Hart more. I don't know. <laughs> History chain. <laughs> this dude, man, got criticized. Uh, um, it's okay if he got criticized. But you know that Wednesday night in Lakewood, I don't know if he's still there. Uh, John Gray. Is John Gray is still there. He, he, got, he got called out the other day about his sneakers and whatever, right? Yeah. Mm. He has his own church, but he comes on every But let me tell you, man, people showed up to that church because they do make jokes. Yeah. And it's full of people. Because his attitude is, is out of this world. He has a great attitude. How powerful is that? Best BOMs I give is when I tell jokes. By the way, I always tell the same jokes, okay? <laughs> still the Italy one with the burger? Same thing, bro. <laughs> and I try to do more stories, you know? I try to mess up more. So I can have more stories. And the last one is this. And I finish with this. You want this? Here's the three things that we change. Recruit mindset, attitude, and associate count. Associate count. What is associate count? What is associate count? What is it? How many people you have meetings? Everything for me became associate count. How many people come into phones? How many people you have in the meeting? Tiger School. Tiger School? BOM. UM Managers Meeting. Meeting after the meeting. Train the trainers. Train the trainers. How many people are going to have training trainers? If a team, if I'm a marketing director team, if a marketing director team has more people than the other marketing director team, there is a way the other people can compete with this guy. Effortless, you beat people. You want to go better? You want to go better? Have a better associate count. I know that if you take 500 people to train the trainers, 
Nobody will be able to compete with it. I know that. I know that. But you need to register. You need to, you guys, your skill level will go to a next level. Your skill level, your closing ratio, everything will go to a next level. Everything will go. If you do that. If you go to train the trainers. This became an obsession for me. You know this is obsession? Right? You think, oh, man, you can do, uh, uh, you can do a million points in a month, but if you don't recruit, he will recognize you. One day you're gonna talk about the, those legends, okay, myths. But if you do, you can do 20 recruits. Yeah, man, you're the number one person in that team. You're gonna talk about that, about me. Yeah, I'm a little bit obsessive about this. I'm a little bit obsessed about this. But this one is the number one. Associate count. Is it making sense? Yes. Yeah. All right, so I'll leave you with this. Uh, Go and check your training and trainers. Go and check your list of training and trainers. Go and become obsessed about training and trainers. Go and become obsessed about taking your guys to training and trainers. Cowboy Stadium, walking across the stretch, a, a stage by doing the 15, 15, 15. I promise you it will be wonders. It will do wonders to you, okay? So we have MD meeting, guys. God bless you, go and do your thing.